Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use coroutine in a view model. Then we'll make a API call using retrofit and then we'll download an image through the view model and then we'll display it on an image view. So let's begin with adding the dependencies in our Gradle file. So I'm adding a first dependency for the coroutine. So that is implementation org.jetbrains dot kotlin x colon kotlin x hyphen coroutine hyphen android colon version number 1.3.9 and now I'm adding a dependency for view model Let's sync our project now. Now I am adding a separate package for our network classes. Like we are going to use the retrofit. So I am creating a separate package for that. Before that we need to add the dependencies for our retrofit. So let me add those two. retrofit to and along with that we need a JSON converter add this one click on apply ok so it will take some time to sync it before that we can create a separate class for our retro instance Now we'll implement it. So this is this step we have done uh, many time in our previous demo or the previous videos. So it's a, it, it's gonna be the same. Here is the URL I'm going to hit and download this image in our through the retrofit and then we are going to display it on our image view. So the purpose of this video is not how to show the image. It's the purpose is like how we can use a coroutine in our view model inside the view model scope. That's it for this class. Now we need to create another class for our retro service. This is basically going to be an interface. Inside it, we need to create a suspend function
and this is going to be a get type And here we need to pass as a query. The rest of the URL just we need to complete. So this v equal to 4 is going to be as the query parameter. And now it is not going to uh, return as a call and the uh, data object it is going to return the response body so whatever server is returning like the byte array it will return same stream value inside the response body now let's create a view model for our main activity i'm giving it as a name main activity view model And as usual, we need to create a live data. So let me define a live data. And this data, this live data is going to be a type of bitmap. And inside our init block, I'm just initializing it. And I'm creating a separate function on that will uh, define our observer. So that is going to just return this mutable live data. Now I'm creating a function which is going to uh, make the retrofit API call inside the view model scope. So here actually we are going to use how we can make the API call through the coroutine. So this view model is scope dot launch this is basically have the scope till the time this view model is live so once view model is destroyed this view model is scope will destroy so that is the beauty of our coroutine And now we'll simply call our retro instance in the retrofit library to make the API call. now instead of call object we are going to directly re uh, receive the response body so in case of image it's going to be simply bytes that's what we can hold it in a, a variable and now we'll simply uh, convert this bytes to the bitmap so there is a class bitmap factory dot decode byte array and 
and inside this we'll pass the bytes and now we'll send this bitmap back to the observer through the live data that's it for our view model now let's go to our activity and complete our layout so i'm just simply changing the text view to image view and giving it as a id here I need uh, just define calling a function init view model. So I'm creating that function now init view model. Inside that we will initialize our view model. I'm calling the observer function so when we call post value inside our view model then this will get called And we'll call set bit set image bitmap function and we'll pass our bitmap here. Now we need to call the make API call function and the parameter, the query parameter we need to pass. So that is four. So we'll pass four from here. That is the part of our URL. Now let's run our application and see. Okay, so it crashed. Let's see what we are missing. Okay, so I got it. We are missing the permission. So we are missing the internet permission. Let me add it. Let's run it again and see. There you go. So we are successfully able to implement coroutine inside the view model. For that, we just need to add two dependencies in our uh, build.gradle. 
and another change we need to make our uh, retrofit service function as a suspend and here we don't need to call as a call object and then we just need to do the view model scope dot launch and dispatcher dot io inside this block you can make the api code so that's all for the today's video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you